that they had, and they, they kind of went, well, let, you know, let, let's put all our eggs in one basket for a second. Or, or, you know, that, that's what they did. They just put the boom shot down and started the second half and just fought the same fight constantly. They were confident that they could win it, uh, and they did win it, really. They, they, they slashed that fight uh, pretty much every single round, and I think Regal won it once, maybe, uh, if that, and, you know, it ended up with, with obviously, Fable coming out on top. Definitely, and, you know, you look at... I mean, just looking at some of the rotations that, that Fable Sentinel made, I don't think Regal Reserve maybe as a team are on that level just yet. Um, you know, uh, obviously with this with this uh, this new addition, Exus mm. coming over from Team Lucent, maybe they have a couple more things to work on. I know you've said online that they have come out victors against uh, this Fable Sentinel side on in, in the 2Ks. But, you know, Lan, as we've said before... Yeah, we it, mentioned it, it earlier, we did right? It, they, it's a different beast. It's an absolute different beast. And, you know, Fable Sentinel, they do have that experience. They have that composure, you know, built from going to many major LAN events and yep. you know many regional LAN events that maybe this Regal Reserve is struggling to, to, to kind of uh, take advantage of. Yeah, they, they always seem to just get pipped at the post, really, they uh, on LAN. They lost against, uh, they lost against Lucent last time in, in the loser bracket semi-final. Close game, definitely was. Uh, but, you know, it, they, they would have been predicted to win that, judging by the, the online presence before that event. And, and now... Supremacy, well, old supremacy, now Fable Sentinel have lost a couple of times to, to Regal Online in, in you know big competitions, big big online tournaments, and well, we see it at LAN once again. Baghdad and the crew, they turn up when it comes to playing online. Hundred percent, they do. Hundred percent. So, Foundation next map. I don't know. What do you think, Fruz? Fru, what do you think is going to be the? Um, I'm sticking with my guns. You're sticking with your guns. I, I think, uh, you know what? I, I think I th it'll be close. I think it would be close. And I think Regal Reserve, obviously, this is a, a better map for them um, than the dam being their pick. So it'll be interesting to see what Rogue Regal Reserve can do in this as this is their map pick. So now we're going to step onto Foundation and let's see if it could be as interesting, as fast paced as what the last map was. Here we go. Yeah, we can only Straight hope. into this B fight. Uh, we, we're on board with SY Strikers and be interested to see who's going to make the, the aggressive play first. Looks like Baghdad is the man to make that play as he gets a kill, a headshot on Swift. Taken out quickly, but here we go. Zorkos, he replies, and Chris also gets one of his own three members, four members dead from Regal. And, you know, no, uh, no chill for Fable Sentinel as they carry on as they, uh, as they finished in the last map. No the chill. The defense is already going to have to come in. <laughs> no chill indeed, Alex. No chill indeed. Look, Shadows has put his court in pretty in a... Very difficult position here, but he's just opts to kind of re-rotate back to the home hill. And Regal now have got to pick this up with, you know, Fable Sentinel just picking off the kills slowly. And they are just gradually putting pressure. This is great team fire here from Fable Sentinel. You love to see it from a, this second seed EU team. This is a frenzied defense from uh, from, from Regal here. This is, fan well, uh, but they, know, they've, what can yeah. you do with every single time you're pushing into the home hill? You've just got... Uh, Fable Sentinel shotgun down your throat, <laughs> blowing you up. It's, 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 it's very hard. Um, but no, great round there from Fable Sentinel. And, you know, again, it's, 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 it's looking like it's going to be, it's looking like it's going to be very similar to the first map in that it's very quick paced. Uh, they only took down three kills. And as soon as they did, they opted to, to straight away move into the home hill. So <sighs> brilliant it. play here. Brilliant play here. Can Regal Reserve return the favor? Well, we'll, we'll find, find out, out in three seconds. Two, one. Let's go, eh? Let's go. Let's go. We did see the <laughs> marks has dropped. They're, dro they're dropped at welding and fountain. She cracked me up. Uh, and uh, we are, we are going to see a little difference in strategy. Fable Sentinel offering to pick that up and bringing that to the fight. But Regal all stood around one pillar. Not sure all what's having going a on. meeting there and being taken out by SBBB and Zorkos. But Swift replies, taking down two physics, takes him down and. He does take Tower Dragons as well. And again, it's, it's looking like a, uh, an intermittent wipe there from Fable Sentinel and Regal Reserve. And I think they're just going to opt in to set up on this B hill and take their home hill back. And that's exactly what they do. We see Physics move into the Fountain area, trying to get a... Physics and Chris, excuse me. And we ha he has got the Marksman and Hag. Can he pick up a cheeky headshot with that, with that particular weapon? But no, I, th I think this is going to slow down now. Fable Sentinel are just going to, instead of like the last round, put a you know put a, put aggression on the home hill. They're just going to slow down and opt uh, to gain a little bit of position. And as I say, that BBB takes down Regal Die Six. I keep on calling him BBB. I do apologise. I've got a bit of Tourette's. BBB. I need to stop doing that. His name is Baghdad. It is Baghdad. But no, Swift does a great job though to take down two and Talking Baghdad, Baghdad now Baghdad. takes down Swift and Taking again. Oh, there's a nice statue. Look at this, this is a great rotation here from Regal Reserve. They played this very, very well. And they are going to do the home hill setup, taking A and C. And 
I think they're just going to kind of put Fable back into the B area just to try and regain themselves and, and set up. But obviously, what, what you know, the big question here, Alex, is, you know, c can they hold this against the likes of Fable, Fable <laughs> Sentinel? And <laughs> I don't think they're going to. I think they're running off very quickly. we can see five <laughs> members of Regal legging it. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> Fable Sentinel are 100% taking back their home hill <laughs> in this situation. Maybe not, you know, in the next one, but looks like the rotation has come through. So Regal, they rotated through closed, and they've managed to, you know, come back and get a couple of kills there. One kill, actually. Uh, Physics has replied on Shadows, oh. and Dragons are paying straight into the shotgun of Baghdad. Takes Sneaky him play. out. I love that sneaky peep play there from uh, Dragons. I don't think he quite knew that he was coming around the corner that fast. And now we're just going to see Dragons have no fear, but he gets taken out. I don't know. That was probably a bit of, bit of a questionable de decision there from I'm not sure he knew he was there. You know? I don't think he did. I don't think he did at all. But I don't oh, think hello. Chris didn't know that Shadows is there. And that's a great play from Shadows to get the position on B. And now we're looking at a trip cap domination. But Physics here picks up the marks. Uh, and he's just going to say no as uh, Fable Sentinel do take back their home hill. And they're now going to just... They don't really need to do, do anything too drastic here. They are up in points by 10. And all they need to do is just slowly, gradually put themselves into that B. And Shadows now is in all kinds of problems. And he gets taken down by Zorkos. And now Fable, they are going to look... They are going to take the B hill. But as I say, that Regal Reserve do rotate well into the homes. It's all over the place, really, Flues. You don't know where to look. Flues? Flues. That's a new one. <laughs> That's a new one. I apologize. <laughs> Toby was closer than Flues. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we did see a great rotation there from Regal. They they wolf pack straight up the mid ramp. That was, that was yeah, it was very very good. Uh, that said, Baghdad is about to I find Dizix in his side as he, he flanks indeed. through the mid. He is indeed, and I think that uh, I think this is looking like it's going to be a Fable Sentinel round again. I'm not sure, uh, you know, I don't know. Regal Reserve Regal can't, two hills. can't seem to uh, lock down a hill at the moment. But as I say that, they are slowly taking down B, but they need to do something quickly because it is looking in the territory of a Fable Sentinel round. Oh. Dysix with the move, but he gets taken down by BBB. Ba also known as AKA Baghdad. Look at the movement, the jelly legs there. We saw on screen very briefly. And Physics just coming up to the founcing area and Fable do take that round. Yeah, that was all Physics there. Physics defended that neutral hill three times in a row. He, he got two single 1v1s and then just got a double at the end there. So, yeah, excellent play by Physics to, to keep his team in it. Uh, you know, it, it looked for a second like Regal may have a, you know, a, a bit of a chance to get a, a domination at the end. But, yep, Physics uh, physics coming up clutch and managed to get the uh, the neutral hill for himself. What would you like to see being put down now for... Some are big at Pistons. Oh. Oh, maybe not that big. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit too big. Um, I think that's a boom shot. The curse of the cast are something big at Pistons, and that's exactly what they did. They put yeah. down a boom shot. Now yeah, that, things that, are about to get frisky in that B hill. I mean, it, it worked very well for Fable Sentinel, right? Uh, the previous map. They dropped the boom early, uh, okay. and they just slayed up. That said, I don't know. This is a different fight for, uh, for all accounts and purposes. Uh, Exus does open on Zorkos. We are going to see this fight kind of heat up here. Yeah, and Swift. Swift. in the way of Zorkos as well, in Exuth, sorry. Good play there by Swift. He needs to take him down. He does this take him down Regal. as well. This is all Regal indeed. And I think they are going to take that boom shot and get it out. And it's in the hands of Exuth. I think they're just going to put pressure on Fable Sentinel's home hill. But look at the team. Look at the fire there from, uh, from that player, Zorkos. That's a great, great play there to, to ensure that Swift didn't get the home hill. So brilliant defense there from Fable. And I think now they can just push on. They don't want to be, be, you know, be caught in the hands of that boomer. So... They have to pick their push wisely. Definitely indeed, Alex. And what would you like to see more of just uh, so far? I mean, uh, we're in this uh, very early stages. Exus <laughs> taking down his own teammate with he, that boom shot. To be shot. fair, Strikers was about to, to kill him anyway. So fair play. I can see why he traded that oh. out. And hello, that's a lovely kill as well. Exus is playing super well this, this series. I think he's going to probably push this as well. Um, I was about to say, I would love to see Regal just taking a step back and using the boom shot to, to gain a bit of map control in a more sustainable way rather than just blowing the boom shot very quickly <laughs> um that said the boom shot went down and exude picked up another kill so he did it in a, just a different fashion I, I i just i just think that from my from my standpoint i don't know how you how you're feeling at the moment alex from my standpoint there, right. there's there's not been a there's not been a, a hero in, in regal reserve as of yet there's not been someone taking those 2v1s 3v1s and we're we're used to seeing regal be that type of team well, and it's not happening at the minute it's, it's so. usually it's usually shadows and dragons who are going yeah. off and Sh shadows has had a a couple of poor games if i'm honest with you he, he ended well in the last game for sure but he started off real slow and it, it looks like in this map he's you know he's starting off pretty slow again he's just getting slayed out 
He is indeed, and uh, I think that just goes to credit the uh, Fable Sentinels' individual shotgun ability. They are so good. And, uh, you know, we see now Regal Reserve trying to get into this B hill and Fable are just making, making sure that they don't let them in. But Shadow sneaks on BB like a thief in the night and he takes down Physics as well. Well played there from Shadows to, to regain position of the B hill. Well played. And now we can see Regal Reserve maybe put a little bit more pressure on this Fable Sentinel side. And as I say that, Strikers with the back A on Shadows, shutting him down very, very quickly. And he's looking for the two-piece, and he does get that great play from Strikers. Yeah, that was really well uh, really well played. He, he just noticed that the opposing player had the wrong weapon out, and, and he capitalized on that opportunity, you know, pretty much perfectly. Though saying that, despite his best efforts, Exus has actually trying to keep this pretty clean. Uh, he, he got a couple of... Oh, oh. Dysix! That was, that was spicy. That was really well played by Dysix. Oh. He's managed to get a double kill in the most dire of situations. Looking for his third as well. Might the, even get this. The movement of a gymnast in the Olympics, Alex. That's what you probably say about that particular play there. He was bouncing around all over the map. He was yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fluid there. Baghdad takes a big one to the face as Dysix looking for more kills this round. He's still not died. And that's going to be a gift. No, it's not. He's true the shot. <laughs> Look at Just kill strikers, though, in the most oddly of fashions. <laughs> Points ticking in for Regal, though. Two hills in their favor. Looks like Physics is going to get the decap here. Where's the other decap? The other decap is at B. They need to get this hill. They do. Looks like everyone is going to be down there, apart from me. But look, this is dodge. This is dodgy territory here for Regal. Beat Baghdad taking down two, and it's all Baghdad. Regal it does is not all have a ring. Zeus does do a great job though to take down two supremacy members, and Shadows does take down Strikers as well. And now you'd expect them to try and hold this and make sure this is a round that is won. Oh, there's a Unless rogue physics. physics can say anything about it. He physics does take that one. Is he going to turn down? He oh. does take the second as well. Well physics. played there from Physics. Brilliant play. Has he done enough, though? That's the question. That he, is the question. He fought the 1v on the home hill. He's, he's bought enough oh. time. He's not got the last kill, though, and that's going to be a regal round. 2-1 now to score. Physics is playing exceptionally well on these hills. He's defending every hill he's in. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. He's de definitely having a, a quality series so far. And we see him 15 kills, 8 downs, and 74 dead to death time. He's definitely showing up so far. And... We can't take anything away from Swift, though. Swift's sitting up there on 16. Exus shortly behind on 13. Though Exus has been, uh, you know, uh, ha has been buffered a little bit by the fact he's been getting all the boom shots. Um, so, yeah, Swift, Swift doing really well. Especially with the downs as well. Six downs in his name, helping his team. Definitely. And so we're going to see uh, round four here from these two teams. And... I don't think, I, did, I didn't quite catch that through, but I, through, I don't think I saw anything being put down that was too too monumental. I think they're just going to play for this boom shot again, and that's exactly what Regal are doing. They take down two, and when I say that, Baghdad does take it, get his own kill, but Dragons does take down Chris, and now Baghdad well, needs to move out with his life, otherwise this is dodgy games. He is going to try <laughs> and get that cow, cow, sneaky little cover. He does fail and gets taken down by Exuths. I think they knew that he was going to oh, do it. They definitely always knew. expect the double back through, always expect the double back. And they're both members of Regal there just st stepping on the corner at the same time as Baghdad. Uh, they, they all played that well, but in the end, Baghdad taken out because it was 2v1. Two shotguns always better than one, right? Definitely, indeed. That's that's quick maths there from you, through. I love it. Quick maths. Um, I mean, we're, we're, yeah, I mean, we're, carry, we're carrying on into this and look, Regal Reserve are trying to get a uh, domination and Chris is trying to have his say and make sure that doesn't happen and try to defend his own home hill. And I think that maybe Regal Reserve just need to get out of this. Maybe with will there a tape? But Exu says, no way, Jose. He's going to try and get a pick and he doesn't. He's struggling to get off the wall and he gets taken down. And now so, we see this is a, a bit of a scrap here for Fable Sentinel's home hill, which to which yeah. Regal Reserve does, does get. And whilst I say that Fable Sentinel do rotate into the B hill and now Chris is in a bad, oh. is in a bad position. He gets taken down. I'd love to have seen, I don't know what you think here, Alex, and obviously we're coming to your ana analysis of this, but I'd love to have seen Regal just kind of maybe play back that and yeah. you know, maybe rotate it back a little bit, not go be so aggressive in that situation. But these they, guys have no fear. They don't have fear. They, they did get a couple of points out of it. it, it they did lose B, though. That, that's the big issue here. With, with a member down at B, maybe you know, they could have had a triple cap there, but uh, they, they played it reasonably well. And, they're still in control, right? They're still 50 points ahead, so, you know, who are we to judge right now? We're no one to judge, Alex. We're no one to judge. We're just casters giving you the uh, action up to date. 
And as I say, that physics takes down Ree Swift. Yeah. Strikers does take down uh, Dragons. And now Fable Central are just going to move over to the, the Regal home hill. And it's just so back and forth. 2v2s, but, you know, 2v1s being taken one side and then it's being taken another side. And this big is a very big 1v1 here from Shadows against Strikers. Strikers just rolls into a wall and Shadows picks him off very easily. <sighs> Almost gave it to him, Strikers there, and now we're seeing Regal Reserve push over to Fable Sentinel's home hill. This is just back and forth, this one. Very interesting, very exciting game. I need to slow down before I have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, get some water in you. I'll take over. We are on board with Physics as he's going to push up to uh, to the statue. We did see in all that fray, Zorkos, he did pick up the boom shot. So he's got that in hand. This is going to come in handy as they try and take over this last hill. We see the defense coming in, double smokes going out, and Regal are going to have to back off now. Physics looking for one, but Dragons has managed to take out Baghdad. Not oh. ideal. Dragons takes out two now. Does get taken down himself. Where is Zorkos with the boom shot? Zorkos is down. How has Zorkos gone down with a boom shot in hand? That's not what you need. Definitely but Fable not. Sentinel are doing okay. They've managed to get this home hill. B is in favor of Regal, though. So essentially a swap of what we saw at the other end of the map. The home hill's going in favor of the attacking team. And then, uh, yeah, the, the, the defending team, they just, you know, got the, got the neutral hill. Well played there from Fable. Um, I mean, I don't know, as you said, I don't know why Zorkos went down with that boom. Probably a bit of a questionable decision, but they have got the position uh, on the two home hills. And <sighs> Regal Reserve, again, in a similar situation to the last round. They just need to hold this B hill and they win. But, but as I say that, Fable are starting to put pressure and now it. B's coming down and Exus makes, makes a brash That's a rotation. Big kill. Uh, Zorkos takes him down as he's doing so and now we're seeing Fable Sentinel looking like they're going to take this round unless Dysix can have something to say. He's moving into Chris. Oh, Fritz is just Lancer. frustrating the, the Lancer in front of him. That's a great play by him and that's Fable Sentinel's round. A questionable, questionable round from Regal Reserve given the nature of the position they were in. <sighs> yeah, one, if, if you're Regal, you want to be winning that right there, for sure. You definitely they were do. so far ahead and they had complete map control and they just gave up the boom shot and then slowly, slowly Fable Sentinel just you know, brought it back. Beautiful Lancer strafing by Chris there at the end. Love that. Yeah, same. Reminds me of the UE days, Alex. Reminds me of the UE days. UE days, indeed. Yeah, that, that, that's actually true. It was much more prevalent back then, right? Yeah, definitely. But we do see the incendiaries drop. Regal special, incendiaries bang in the middle of the map. Well, I'd just like to see them uh, do it a little bit more with this boom. Um, I think that this, at the moment, lo is looking like whoever comes out with the boom faster wins the round. Um, you know, especially if those quick kills are coming through. And if Regal have to do something here, because it slowly looks like they're losing momentum, this Fable Sentinel side are just getting the one up over them. I say that Swift does take down Zorkos. Great shot there. And B, Baghdad does get taken down, and so do Strikers. And now we're seeing three members of... Uh, Three members of Fable Sentinel down, and this lad on the pillar is in a bad position, but he has opted to stay back, and he's getting marks it in the back. And now I would say, expect that Regal Reserve are just going to rotate and try and put pressure on the home hill, especially with this boom in hand of the, the hands of Swift. Boom. That's a great boom. He's hit him nail on the head. And there's the second. There's the second. I think this is going to be Fable uh, Regal Reserve's round. It is indeed. It is. And if you want a, men a momentum boost, that was it, correct? Like they. <laughs> 40 seconds in a round, and it could have been quicker as well. They, they, they played that exceptionally well. 40 seconds. And they are Swift's coming in with a couple of clutch boom shots just to secure that at the end. 23 kills in his name, doing very well. Baghdad at 20 on the other team, so definitely kills being shared about in this game. 3-2 <laughs> now to score. Fable Sentinel slightly ahead, but Regal bringing it back. Definitely, I mean, a great round from, from Regal uh, Reserve. And I know mean, we said it, didn't we? we? I mean, I literally mentioned it before the round started that it would be whoever can get that boom out faster. Um, and we saw Regal get a couple of quick kills in that, in that, in that mid area and, and they came out on top. Really good round from Regal. Let's see if they can do it again. If they do, it'll be a good position to be 3-3 before the, the rings switch up. And now we see Swift moving in for these incendiary greys. He, he picks them up without any challenge and he's gonna throw them wildly. He's going to Kobe into BB and Zorkos, and BB does a great job to just dodge that very, very quickly. And now Swift notices that he's on his own through the, through, through the pillar and takes him down with a great reaction shot through the cover. And now Fizz is in a very dodgy position. That's a great grenade, though, to keep the pressure off. Doesn't actually pick anyone, though, unfortunately, and he does go down. Oh. <gasps> takes out Swift. But does take out Swift in the process whilst he is down, but we're seeing a, a domination from Regal Reserve, so well played from them. That's 3-3 three, three before the, the rings switch up. That's it. Bang on even at half time. Indeed. And what can I can say about that, except <laughs> Regal have turned up. They're, they're, they're switched, on, uh, switched on the overdrive and now that's just slaying out. They're, they're winning this middle fight every single time and maybe it's time for Fable Sentinel to bring the fight down to statue a little bit more. Definitely. Um, I, I think we can, we can expect this to be 
Uh, Wild West standoff. A Wild West standoff at that statue area. It normally is. Fundamentally, teams tend to tend, you know, t tend, to, um, tend to send one at the statue and then one on the, uh, the the top table area. So I don't know. I think I feel like Fable Sentinel might just have this in the pocket. Well, we'll see, shall we? We will. Jump we on board with see. shadows as he pushes up onto the statue area. Although, what am I saying? Because my predictions was that Regal were going to come out to one victors. So I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope they don't have it in their pocket. And as I said, that Shadows takes down Strikers. That's a great shot there to get a little bit of damage and then take the 1v well played. And now we're seeing Regal Reserve getting the kills on your uh, kill feed there. And they are overextending onto... To yeah, this is Fable's home hill. This is Fable's home hill, but great rotation there from Fable Sentinel. I got a little bit confused there from it because of the, because of where they were. Where they were, but... Um, should we see know, what's going on over at this home hill? Zorkos underneath Not a lot. six <laughs> Lancer fires. He is in a very tricky Just position, Zorkos. Properly penned in, wasn't he, though? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a good position to be in if you're, if you're Zorkos. But again, look, even though they are, they were in a tricky position, they're Fable Sentinel, they do a great a great job to rotate and ensure that pressure's being put elsewhere. But I think that, you know, if you're if you're a betting man, I bet that Regal Reserve are just going to set up on these two home hills and ensure they... What bets? This is an okay. Ooh! Ooh. I think you was there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fight going down. Very, very lucky to have hills. his life still there. Zeus yeah. starts to get taken down, Regal. Zeus, Dragons has no fear here. I think he needs to get out. He's being crossed by every single angle. He does opt to try and stay back a little bit. And I think that the Fable lot are just going to try and pick off the kill. Dragons doing a great job to stay alive. And he does get the down as well. This is a brilliant play from Dragons. I think he's going to be a bit overzealous and push in. He's having none of it. He wants physics as well, and he does take down physics. This is a brilliant play from Dragons. I don't know how he's kept his life there in that, in that situation. But he has, and well, now we see Regal Reserve take down, well, so Regal Reserve do cap the F and E hill, so I'd like them to just slow it down a little bit. Yeah, it was a very odd fight, heart, that, especially. actually. It was a, definitely a very odd fight. Both teams were fighting for their, like, opposite team's home hills, which can get very, very awkward, because if you start to get, you know, if you start to win one team fight, those team members that you've killed respawn and then start to influence the other team fight. It's, it's a very strange, uh, strange dynamic when you're fighting on both fronts there. It is. Uh, that said, Regal did come out on top, and Dragons did exceptionally well to stay alive. Didn't there against Physics, though, as Physics takes him out. Gonna look, at the, uh, look at the flank coming through Pistons. What's going on over here? Well, I think this is just going to be a fight for the home hill. Exuf's doing a great job uh, to, to get the kill there in Strikers, and, and, and then he does, take, he does take down Baghdad as well, and now Supremacy are three men down, and I think Regal Reserve are in a very good position here just to set up on these home hills again. Fable Sentinel do need to do something off respawn and try and get the try and get position back as quick as possible. And Chris doesn't know that Dysix is just moving up on him. Again, maybe miscommunication there, miscommunication there, although I don't think that Fable Sentinel had another guy there. I think Chris was very much so on his own. So good play from Regal Reserve. And I think this is now a Regal Reserve round unless anything happens from strikers and but no, he gets taken <laughs> down very quickly and Regal Reserve's round, three rounds on the uh, three rounds on the bounce. If you know you talk about a momentum, you know a momentum-based team and Regal yeah, Reserve. Well, if we, anything, we did, we, did. we mentioned it at the front, right? We we said, well, if if Regal catch fire, this this could be quite easily their game. Uh, and and right now, three rounds on the bounce looks like it is it is their game. Swift, almost up on 30 kills. Uh, we've seen a couple of team members around him as well. Yeah, Regal playing very well. Let's see what nothing got placed actually. So the Pistons blocked out by by Fable Sentinel. They identified that they don't want that boom shot fight down there any longer, and maybe they're trying to, yeah, as I said, push things around to statue a little bit more. Definitely. Uh, you know, I, I think Fable Sentinel at the moment are struggling to put the fire out that is currently in the kitchen of the Regal Reserve camp. Yep, they need bigger extinguishers for sure. As Swift picks up a beautiful double kill, gets the revive as well on his teammate, and he's going to look for more. The more will come in the form of a cap for now. Let's jump on board with Dysix as he gets a kill. Baghdad falls four dead for Fable Sentinel for just a second there. Interesting. Obviously quick respawns now, so. Interesting decision from Regal Reserve here not to, not to push. And uh, it's not like them to, to try and hold position. And I think they, they do realize that Fable Sentinel are going to try and push up on these home hills. And Chris now is struggling to kill Dysix, but he does go down finally. Strike is taking the kill. Big 1v1 now it's for the very, D very hill. Big, Chris very, got very a couple big. of shots down. Does have a teammate in tow. Needs to get that revive though. Dragon's gonna smoke out and force the 1v. Really well played actually. Look at the pressure. Try to be careful though, because 
very bad position here. And is there I anyone think, to help? I think so. Said to are going to take that. Yeah, they take that round. I don't know what Dragons was thinking there. He had to try and get to the hill, but he was just put in such a bad position by the Fable Fable mm. camp there in that in that position. So, sorry, in that situation. So great, great round there from Fable Sentinel. And this is again, like we saw in Dam, is very back and forth. It's round after round. Well, now what are we going to see? Because at the first half we saw we saw Regal drop that boom shot down. They can't do that right now. So they're going to drop the marks instead, actually. They, they're just going to opt for a long-range weapon and, uh, you know, have that supporting player come in from, from the fountains and, and help out the team. Not a bad choice. Anyone in particular? Um, let's jump on board with... Uh my man Dragons, um, I think I saw him take a couple of... The man with... I think that's the man with the sunglasses as well. So the stylish... Stylish Dragons. Let's jump on board with him. So, well, we are on board. He's holding this, uh, you know, this top bridge angle. He does have teammates down at Statue, so he's going to come down and support. Sees Baghdad actually flanking through. He's going to call that. <laughs> he's in a very bad spot. He's in a very, very bad spot. He gets taken down there four by dead. physics. Yeah, four dead again. And look, Fable Sentinel are going to put pressure on Regal Reserve's home hill again, and it's leaving Dice 6 in a very tricky situation. I don't think he's going to have much, but look, he has got his mates to back him up, but they are just doing a great job in team firing, making sure they're putting as much damage as possible on this Regal Reserve as they try and get this home hill back, and I think they've just about done it. The defense proving to be quite good in the Regal Reserve camp in that scenario. And now I'd like to see Regal Reserve just rotate. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. I see two members down at this Pistons area, but Exus is down. And Shadows comes back to get the get the revive like a medic in the military. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he needed to come back there. I think his teammate was about to auto revive himself. However, Chris was there for the Lancer, so better safe than sorry, it seems. Just, just gonna look back and forth. Chris. Dropping some Lance of Fire as Exus goes for the rotation now. He's going to come through closed. Gets drilled by Zorkos. He's just holding He's uh, holding mid. Zorkos needs to watch <laughs> watch his weapon choice here. Does have a supporting member though, so all is well. Zorkos going to clean that up. What's well going played. on up here? We do see Swift taking out physics. This is going to be a decap for him. Big fight up here on the bridge. This is a very big fight and you see Fable Sentinel members going down. There's foot three dead and now Zorkos and Chris are stuck to, to keep this alive and try and defend the home hill. And I think they do just that. I think they do do it just about another Regal Reserve member coming through the middle. We see three members of uh, Regal Reserve on the Pistons. They may be getting ready for a push. And I don't think this man knows that someone's in the middle. He, he's just going to set it up to step back and make sure that no one comes on that home hill. So Regal Reserve, I don't think needs to do anything too brash. Ooh. And Chris with the marks a headshot from absolutely nowhere and he's feeling himself looking for the second one look at using it as a shotgun but shadow says no way that's not happening to me today so now we see fable sentinel repaying the favor going through to the home hills and now they have the, they do have the 30 point lead so all they need to do is just make sure they hold this brilliantly and if they do they will win this round regal reserve though very unlucky there alex what do you think yeah pretty unlucky I I don't know. I, th I think Regal Reserve, they've just been in the back foot this entire round, right? Fable Sentinel got the, got the hold on the map pretty early on. And we hear the klaxon ticking down in the background. 185, 190 now. Fable Sentinel looking to close out this round. Strikers Ooh, is shot, adding yeah. to that by getting the first kill. Two headshots in a row. Physics picking up third. Strikers takes out four and Chris takes out the fifth. That's a wipe and that's going to be Fable Sentinel going up 5-4 here. Fable looking strong. Absolutely fantastic play there from, from Fable. I know we said it, you know, they had to hold that home hill and they did just that in that scenario. So they do got five to four. Now Regal Reserve may be thinking, what can we do? We need to what put down something. Do? What can we do? We need to put something down big. Well, and I think they're going to do uh, that. They're certainly slaying. They are, I mean, they are slaying. Don't get me wrong. You know, Regal Reserve are, sh are showing up uh, when it comes to the individual battles. But I think they're losing out to a very drilled, very... Yeah practiced Fable Sentinel side. So Tell you what they're not doing as well. Look at the downs column there. Look at the downs. There's, there's almost like 30 more downs no, uh, not, for Supremacy, which, that. <laughs> yeah, which is absolutely <laughs> crazy. Uh, we see Chris already on 19. Uh, we've still got at least two rounds to play. Could be more. 19 downs, pretty good going, even at the end game. At, at this point, fantastic work from him. But you expect that, right? You know, Fable Sentinel, that I said it, you know, before we kind of got into this in this matchup, this series, that Fable Sentinel are a team who are very good with, the th you know, the focus fire, the team fire. And, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less from them in any series they go to, maybe apart from Fable. They always have the downs. Let's get straight back into this as a scrappy mid-fight here. Exus does take down Baghdad. 
And Zeus does take down Zorkos. That's a great revive. And he gets up just to get the kill in time. And Baghdad the Physics does take down Physics, Zeus, yeah. though. This is a 2v2. Shadow's there. Great two-piece there from him. And they come out victors of this boom sh with this boom shot. And now they could just maybe take their time. They are taking, I think they are taking the boom to, to Fable Sentinel's home hill. That's it. Shadow's coming in clutch when his team needs it the most. On death's door, he'd managed to get two kills and still alive now. Strikers just take out Dysics. Gonna look at what Swift's up to with this boom shot. Pretty much nothing. I think he's waiting for the fight to go down and then he's gonna come back for the flank. His team have decided to pull out, so he's just gonna go and support over in Pistons. Well, I, I, that's I, a kill. I think this is a questionable decision from uh, Regal Reserve without any information. I don't think they knew exactly where. Sorry, Fable Sentinel. I don't think they knew where, where Regal, Regal Swift was. And they've kind of make a bit of a bit of a questionable decision there. But as I say that, they do get the two-piece uh, on the Regal Reserve's home hill. But um, Regal Reserve do rotate into theirs. And this is a good play here from Swift. He's doing a great job so far. This is a very big one for you if he can take jammed this down. Jammed his reload. He has jammed his reload. That's crucial. I, I don't think... Oh. No, he I, I don't think Fable Sentinel realized he jammed his reload or Zorkos wouldn't have been <laughs> playing, uh, you know, all that, all, that, uh, all that sitting back, all there, that reserve there. And... That said, teammates did come in and, and help him out, so not a problem. Going to be a push now on this uh, this fellow on the left. Well, I, I think Regal here, uh, you know, doing a good job in rotating and getting in position. And we just see someone in the back there, Zorkos, struggling to get his gun out before he's swiftly taking out. Taking out, Dysix does take down Physics as well. Dysix gets a double, actually. He does indeed. Just saw that. And now Regal Reserve are slowly creeping their way up into this round, but Strikers may have something to say about it. He does take down one. And now he is on Regal Reserve's home hill, and we are seeing them take down the D, but um, I think that's a bit of a bad decision there from that Regal member. He quickly realizes it's not a good place to go, but look at the shots there. The accuracy from Strikers is fantastic with that mark. So Dragon's now coming in, but the Some team five may be a though. bit too strong, and he gets taken down. Questionable to revive there. Misses. How has he gotten out? No one knows. Just back and forth, the shotgun foul to manage. This is big. Swift, Swift gets one, Swift gets two. Double kill for Swift as he saves his teammates on the floor. Look at them both crawling back up. That was clutched by Swift there to get his teammate out of a really bad situation. And now points so far in the favor for Regal Reserve. It's going to be pretty much impossible for Sentinel to come back into this without decapping the hills constantly. That said, they do manage to take E down. And they're going to be looking for a trip cap for sure. And I, I think that Regal now in this situation, they can't let the kills go out of their favor. They have to stay strong. They have to stay disciplined in yeah. certain scenarios. You know, they can't allow Fable Sentinel to try and get back into this. But look, you can see they are very eager for a push, a last ditch push. Swift is trying to hide himself there and he's doing a great job. But he you does get taken, taken down by Chris. And now Chris and B Baghdad are going to move on to... Regal Reserves, Home Hill Dragon's doing a great job, great job to put some damage on, but he's in a bad position. Behind Baghdad, you. take it down. Oh, well they played could do it. from Zeus. I the think they are going to do it. I think they are going to try and get the yes, E as well. They are as well. That is five dead and Fable Sentinel. Against all odds, do take that six to four. Oh, they're going to be kicking themselves. Absolutely. They were so far ahead. They were Absolutely. over 100 points ahead at one point. And, well, this is it. Fable, they identified their window. They took it and they went. And uh, yeah, they, they've executed perfectly there. 6-4 now, Fable Sentinel. They're on series point to go through, I think, to the semi-final. Well, this, no, the, the, the winner's bracket final. This will be the winner's bracket final, yes, Fruz. Yeah, Indeed. so they're, they're, on, they're on track for a top three placement as it stands. One more round. Well, I don't know. I think Regal Reserve did a, you know, they, they didn't do much wrong there. I think that, you know, I said it that when they were 180 points up to 120, they just needed to hold one, ca you know, run ring. But you saw someone tried to make a, you know, a stupid overextension, and that cost them. And it cost them a know, lot. Uh, Fable Sentinel took the t took the two piece on the home hill, and now they're six four up. It's not over though. It's not over. We've got another round at it's least. It's not over dropped. indeed. We've still got three more. We've still got another round. If Regal Reserve can win this Boomer, which they are doing a great job. Oh. Swift does take down one. He does get taken down by Zorkos there. I thought he just missed the shot, but Dragons does take down Dragons. Sorry, Zorkos. And Exus does take down Chris. Dragons takes down Dragons. That was a bit of a questionable decision. I don't know what he's done there, but I think he at least has taken down one. And Zeus gets taken down by Physics there from a... Big Kobe fight, this, big fight That's a very big fight there. Shadows does take There is a boom shot on the floor. There is a boom shot on the floor. No, he traded it. Did he trade it out? No, that's is I that think it? it's there. No, that the is icy it. boom it shot is. amid the fire. 
I think he's just making sure, you know, uh, Fable Sentinel are just making sure they're putting as much damage as they possibly can. But great team fire there. I think that he's only just. Oh, I don't that's know a what's waste. he done there. That's a waste from there from Shadows. That's a questionable decision. But he's got Dysix to get him out the mustard. Yeah, that was that was a real bad play f <laughs> from, from Regal. The the mustard's thick for sure, and so was that play. It was not a good one. I meant to say something sticky like honey. I don't know why I said mustard. Look at the jelly legs here from Shadows, though. Get straight back into the actions, despite my stupid sayings. He gets taken down by physics, though, and now I think the Fable Sensor we're just going to try and slow things down, get position on these two caps, these two hills. Oh, we're seeing the rotations come in. There is a 1v. It's going to be a 2v in a second. I do truly believe I've had a bit, I've had a bit too much Red Bull today. What are we seeing up here? Just the defense <laughs> coming in, really. Two hills in Fable's favor. Striker's really? getting a kill and a big fight here now on H as Baghdad looks for a kill. Doesn't get it though, Strikers does. Two dead for the side of Regal, one dead for, for Fable. And well, this is uh, still in Fable's favor for, for the moment. This is indeed, and Fable here trying to put some pressure on the home hill. It's all up to Shadows to try and take. This is a very big one for you. If he can take it, he does get the down. He does get and one. He, misses, he does get the second one as well. That's a great play there from Shadows. Good 2v1. Looking for three, Ooh. looking for three. Just whips the shot, but he does get him on the cover. That's well played, Shadows here. Making sure that Regal Reserve don't lose this early doors in this second, sorry, lose this in the later stages in this second round. Well played. And we see the area extension coming in from Dragon's heads up play here. He's going to be able to get the decap if his team can win E. It might be uh, it might be a regal round. Baghdad's going to come in. Baghdad is going to go out as well. <laughs> so he gets taken out so quickly. Striker's going to fall. This is bad. This is bad bad news for Fable Sentinel. Chris, he's yeah. Uh, Usain Bolt straight across the map. He had nothing else in his mind apart from sprinting to that D hill, trying to get his team some time. It's not bowed enough, I don't think. Oh, it's definitely not. And that's a, a great win there from Regal Reserve. I mean, at, you know, at one point we thought Fable said we were just going to sweep that and win 7-4. But Shadows, to talk about his three-piece there, that was brilliant movement. It takes down the three-piece and he saves his team from going to the loser's bracket. Well played. So far, at least, so far. That is a good point so we've far. not Sorry, mentioned. Sorry, so, so far. Apologies. There's, there's yeah. rounds left. Six, five. There is rounds there's left. There's maps left. But the thing God, we've not mentioned is this is for top three. This, this is, is a big, big game right now. This is, and you know, Regal Reserve, you know, they are, and from, from watching them so far in this event, they are very, very hyped. They're very, very confident. They've been on Twitter as well, talking about oh, their they, wins. They've, they've been it's close to obnoxious on Twitter. They, they've been, been mouthing off at everybody. <laughs> close to obnoxious on Twitter there from Alex, and it's definitely right. Exus being the uh, the pinnacle of that of that movement and strike. Regal Reserve, uh, Shadows again. That's it, 4v4 now. It is a, it's a 4v3, oh, a 4v2, 4v1. No. Isaac's the only man alive. Where is he? He's dead. He's gone. Chris has got the boom shot. I think this might be Fable Sentinel moving on to the next round. If they this can is. get both of the captures. I don't think we need to say anything more. The boom Fable shot is Sentinel. there. This is going to be all she wrote. Fable Sentinel coming in clutch when it counts. 2-0 in their favor. Brilliant showing from Fable there. I think that happened all so quickly as well, Alex, and I don't think he knew off the pillar that anything was coming and his head just flew off quick. That was good. Well that played there good. from Fable Sentinel. 7-5. A fantastic performance out of the French squad. And they will take this one 2-0 to zero over Regal Reserve in a, a tight game, it has to be said. You know, it was backwards and forwards, but they always looked the most likely. Oh, they did. Mystic Meg. Needs to get a new career path. Did not know what was coming there. <laughs> Fable Sentinel looked immense, and they're going to match up extremely well against the actual the other Fable squad. I think in the in the in the final, so that will be a good one. Assuming Fable do Assuming, win, that is. Uh, you know, I think uh, Cyclone might have something That's to say. That's very about true. That. What I really want to brush over is wh why would you be stuck in mustard? I, I mean, that was the one that went over uh, my head. I'll I, be I don't. I don't know. Everything <laughs> was just happening all too fast, Chris. Uh, I meant to say honey. Okay, something sticky, and I said mustard. Uh, I don't know why. You know, I never know why I say <laughs> anything. I do really. It's, it's just in a brain that's uh, you know. <laughs> There's this, a brain this, this there? lagging. Uh, there's a brain there. There's <laughs> a, fortunately, in this in this head of mine, there is a brain there. So apologies for that. But no, uh, Sorry, great, great, that. great show from Sorry. Fable Sentinel. Unfortunately, yes, Mystic Meg does need to get a new career path. Does need to get a new, find a new career path. And for now, um, for now, um, Regal Reserve. You know, they looked like they were coming back in that map, and uh, but you know, in that last yeah. round there, they just swiped four, or five, or five uh, players. <laughs> I, I mean, to me, it was just a couple of sloppy players, wasn't it? I yeah. mean, they, I think it was. I couldn't tell you what round it was. It might have been about the tenth where they were picking up the boom and they wasted it twice. 
I mean, you've seen him use it straight away, and he, he killed himself. I, I think it might have been Shadows, and it's specifically on Foundation, I want to say. And then the one where they wasted it on someone he was already down, and yeah. it was just like little things like that. Like that could have made the difference. They might have actually, yeah, I think they lost that round as well, and mm -hmm. that could have helped them move on. Uh, realistically, a couple of mistakes here and there. They still have another opportunity, of course. This is just in the winner's bracket, but there's the scores on your screen. 7-4 to, to Fable Sentinel on Dam 7-5 on Foundation. A pretty tight game either way. Very tight. What do we think about Fable Sentinel? Then? Is that just a really good performance from them? Did Because we, we were coming into this and we sort of weren't sure because it was yeah. Regal Reserve, had the results online. Obviously, lands a completely different setting, but at the same time, you, we thought it was going to be a close game. We weren't necessarily leaning one way or the other. Do you think that was a really strong performance by Fable Sentinel? I, I'm not. I'm not too sure to be quite honest. I, I don't think it's a super strong performance. I think, as you as you pointed out, there some very blaring mistakes. I think fr from Regal. Uh, I mean, if I'm seeing it, like yeah, well, that's <laughs> it, right? <laughs> I'm gonna play it now, Joker. Uh, <laughs> yes, fa <I> Fable. <laughs> you yeah. have. Uh, yeah, fa Fable Sentinel. We're, we're making more use of the power weapons. Yeah. Uh, that that play, the the initial the initial trade of the beam shot. I can understand good. because y he had to blow himself up there. If you don't blow yourself up there. The, the other player will get the kill anyway and then potentially have a man advantage yeah. to pick up that boom. So the, the, the trade I can understand. The second kill where he boomed the down, that, that, there's, no, there's no excuse for that. No. Yeah. He had about a second as well after the down, you know, yeah, it was like, went it was down. Like, should, should I? And he did it and yeah, it was like, yeah. well, you've had, like, it wasn't sort of just a quick thing where he wasn't down and it was just securing the kill. Yeah. It was a case of he was already down, we can clean this up, there's not really anybody near. Yeah. Th it there, was, there was no pressure, right? Yeah. Uh, so for me, Regal made some very, very difficult, uh, very very bad mistakes mm -hmm. essentially for them. Um, Fable Sentinel do look good though. They, they do look good. Th that is a very strong regal, and it's a mm -hmm. strong regal that's beat them many times yeah. over. I think that obviously, assuming you know, we are assuming the other semi-finals that Cyclone do take down Fable, the uh, you know Fable GD, the other Fable team. Um, but I think that if they play, if Fable Sentinel play like that against Fable. I feel like they're not. It's not going to be good enough. Uh, I think they need, they need to be better than that. Uh, I think Regal yeah. Reserve to come that close in those maps. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's it's not good enough from Fable Sentinel. I think they need to be better mm -hmm. to have a chance of beating the other Fable side, in my opinion. So where do we see Fable Sentinels improvements potentially coming from? Decision making. Uh, they're they're doing all right in the fights for the most part. They're they're kind of you know close quarters decision making as a team when they're fighting is is very good. But mm -hmm. there were a couple of times there where Regal were just first off the bat. And, and and they beat Super they beat Fable Sentinel to the to the spot uh, pretty much like three or four rounds in a row uh, and, and and that really for me is where the other Fable will shine uh, above yeah. above Sentinel because they they are never a sl slow to that move they they're always the first one there uh, and and if if Fable Sentinel can't keep up with that they're, yeah they they're gonna fall apart. Same thing from you for yeah, yeah, definitely agree. I, I feel like the, you know exactly. I think now uh, now Alex has hit the nail on the head. Um, you know, I'm going to go with the fact that, you know, what I said before, Fable Sentinel, I, I think they need to be better than that to, to have a chance of beating Fable. Well, we will find out tomorrow if they have good enough to be beaten Fable, but we will find out if it is going to be Fable who is going to meet them. Just after this quick break, they'll be playing Cyclone in our second winner's bracket semi-final. Don't go anywhere, but that will be with you in about 15 minutes' time.